It depends what you might get rejected in work instead of having a cost cut. Lavish one. You know, some of the solutions. To sort of be the or even though, you know, hopefully set up a neighborhood filled so easily. That's very important. There are so many makeup products out on the market these days, but what's the best way to apply the makeup? Well, joining us now is Kim Baker. She is a celebrity makeup artist for many years and has painted some pretty famous faces. And we also have our lovely model, Kim Baker, I'm um, sorry, uh, Emily Ives, pardon me about that. And uh, ladies, uh, let's start off with some of the things that we're going to do. We're talking about the five-minute face here and how to get out that door for the busy, busy woman on the run. Absolutely. Well, um, you know, a lot of women always say to me, I just don't have time. I love makeup. I just don't have time to do it. And you literally can take five minutes out of your day, which I did this morning, and you just do the essential things. A lot of people don't realize when your eyebrows are done, your face is 80% done. I was going to say, you know, some people, you know, I'm sure the, the men are, that are listening to this might think that we're joking around, but eyebrows really are important. They really are. And they also add youth, a youthful look to your face. So even if you were to do something simple, such as just draw in the eyebrows and maybe pop on a little mascara and gloss, you're pretty much ready to go. But me being a makeup artist, of course, I want you to go the extra mile. Well, though, I know a lot of folks sometimes say, a lot of women say that they don't like the feel of foundation because it feels heavy on them. But why do you tell folks and women to, to wear foundation every day? Well, you know, you don't have to wear foundation every day. I mean, sp foundation is really supposed to be to just spot treat. But a lot of women want, of course, the instant gratification of just having a flawless face. And so you have the option of either wearing a full foundation or even mixing it where you do three points, three drops of moisturizer, two drops of foundation, and you make an instant tinted moisturizer, okay. which is my preference for day. Okay. So what are we going to do here? And, and let's also not forget that our famous uh, model over here has been on the cover of many magazines as yes, well. Yes, yes, she has. Uh, and she's actually just featured in, in Rip, Rent the Runway. Oh, which there is you go. Rip the Runway. So um, she has on actually a new product, which is a lot of people are doing the powder foundations, which is another option for women who don't want to do heavy foundations. You put on your moisturizer, and then you would just take your foundation brush like I did on Emily and you just apply it. She has moisturizer on now and it actually gives a, a look of airbrushed makeup. Sure, and, and let's not also forget about the importance of the makeup brush. Yes, the importance of brushes. Because a lot of people will ask me, is it really, does it really make a difference? Well, that's the difference between people like you and myself who are on TV or you know, working for actual publications, is that brushes apply it in a certain way so that it really looks almost airbrushed, even though mm -hmm. it's conventional makeup. So, and it looks so natural also, yes. I might add. And it, it, it is worth the expense, and I will actually make that a recommendation to, to women as well, that it is worth that extra expense. Right, and what I wanted to do is, a lot of women think that it doesn't really make a difference, but Emily has half of her face done and half undone. So she has your, her blush and her eyeshadow on this side, and this side is actually nude. And it does, it just goes on flawlessly. It just goes on flawlessly. It looks very airbrushed. Well, let's talk about, uh, we've got some uh, spring time coming, and uh, what are you recommending in terms of colors? Or is there a in color right now? Well, right now, what it is, is all about pops of color. And as you see, I put a little bit of a green mm -hmm. eyeshadow under her eye. She has on traditional, you know, makeup for a smoky look, but I popped it with a little bit of a green shadow, but that's not even where we have to end it. I am going to actually put a little bit of blush on Emily's face just to kind of warm her skin a little bit. And, and while you're doing that, Kim, I know you've, uh, you've uh, done a lot of famous faces and mm -hmm. painted a lot of famous. Come on, give us a little dish right there. What, do you, what, do you, uh, what can you tell us are your favorite celeb story? Uh, I don't really have a famous celeb story. I mean, they're people too. So I enjoy a lot of the people that I work with. Uh, Tom Cruise is probably my most favorite person I've ever worked with. He's okay. one of the kindest human beings I've ever met. And what I'm going to do is basically show how I achieved this side. I just took a kit. Sure. And I put the lighter shade up top. And of course, that makes your eye pop a little bit more. Absolutely, it makes the eye pop. And then I follow with a darker color. Most people would look at this and think it's too dark, but what it does is it instantly gives a smoky look. 
So this is a part of that five minute face where you get a look that looks like you spent some time, but you really didn't spend much. And then you just blend like so. And blending is also so important. <laughs> blending is key. And um, one last thing, uh, just to talk about just the uh, lashes and why a, a good mascara also. Well, mascara opens up your eyes, and there's so many great options out there, but of course everyone knows this little bottle right uh, here. Yep, absolutely. Every makeup artist and every makeup you know, person has this great lash. Well, we're going to ask you to uh, just polish her up one more time and give us the, the finishing look because we are out of time. And, of course, you look absolutely beautiful and stunning. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that liner, which also opens up the eye. There we go. And uh, you have uh, some beauty, tra uh, beauty tips, rather, on your website? Uh, absolutely. We don't have the tips on the website, but what I do is I have Glam Forever Makeup Studio in Union, New go. Jersey, okay. where I personally, personally tend to my, my clients. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up by just giving her a lip. That's a nice pop of color. And it looks absolutely beautiful and perfect for springtime. And with that, ladies, I am sorry, but we are out of time. But it has been a pleasure having both of you on the show. We hope you come oh my back. Oh, goodness. Thank you for having me. And we are going to turn it now to uh, Matt Walker. And he's going to be talking. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And she has our lovely model. That's Emily Ives with the finished product. And doesn't she look beautiful? We thank both of them for being here on Edward Today. We'll be right back, everyone. <laughs>